I always have time for the Boss engine. So Ford 6.2 liter engine, Ford started putting these in the F-150 Harley Davidsons and in the SVT Raptors in 2010. Present day, you're pretty much only gonna find them in your Super Duty application. So that's gonna be your pickup trucks and some of the E-Series vans. So this is a gasoline V8 engine. It is very similar to the modular engine design. It is important to note that the bore on these is about 15 millimeters larger than the bore on the 4.6 and the 5.4. So you're generally speaking, probably going to get more power out of this. Um, cast iron block, aluminum cylinder heads. This is a solid engine option from Ford. There are no recalls. There's no major issues early on in life. You're pretty much not going to run into any major problems until you get into higher mileage. In the remanufacturing world, these can be really hard to find because cores are scarce and parts are scarce and not a lot of people need them because they're solid engines. Side note, I would like to add that by blood and by marriage, I am a GM girl, but if I did drive a Ford, it would be a Ford with this engine in it. So if you've got one of these and you're getting up there in mileage, you might experience a couple of things. So same with any other high mileage engine, you're probably experiencing some higher than normal oil consumption, which isn't surprising. This happens to pretty much any engine when you're at the end of engine life. Um, other thing is oil leaks. Again, something that happens to any engine when you're higher up there in mileage. Some consumers do report a rough idle when they get higher up their mileage too. So in itself, rough idle really isn't that big of a problem, but it is important to remember that this engine has 16 spark plugs and you should be replacing your spark plugs as part of your routine maintenance. But if you're not and you're having a rough idle, definitely check out your spark plugs. The other thing is that the rough idle could also be a symptom of some valve spring problems. So these are known to have some valve spring issues later on in life. Valve springs are very cheap themselves. The labor can get up there because you do need special parts to do the labor on a valve spring change, but parts itself are very cheap. So to be more specific, the valve springs in these can sometimes break. So if you're experiencing uh, misfires, rough idle, engine knocking, check out the valve springs. Fun fact about these, Ford started designing them in 2005 and they were originally referred to as the hurricane engines. If you remember 2005, part of the country was devastated by Hurricane Katrina. So they didn't release them in 2005 for non-related issues, but when they did start redesigning them later on, they changed the name to the Boss Engine to be a little bit more appropriate.